Hello and welcome to Total Health with Dr. Nick, where my purpose is to inspire, empower, and motivate you to live longer, healthier, and more abundant lives. In today's video, I want to talk to you about the amazing health benefits of omega-3 fats. Now, this is part four of a four-part series, and the other ones we talked about omega-9s, omega-7s, and omega-6s. What are they? What are their benefits? What are their sources? We're going to talk about that with omega-3 also. And this is the one you hear about the most. This is the one that you've all probably been waiting for. This is the one that's the, the, the most important as far as people know because of its anti-inflammatory properties, its heart properties, its, its blood vessel properties. It does very much anything. So this is one you really want to pay close attention to. And of course, watch to the very end because I'm going to give you the very best sources as to where you can get the best omega-3 fats. And guys, if you like what we're talking about, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also to click that little bell notification so you get notified each and every time I do a video. So let's go ahead and get started. And also too, if you're looking to get in the best shape of your life, and I know a lot of you this time of the year, you wanna get in great shape and get lose fat, build muscle, check out my Ultimate Keto with Dr. Nick course. It is by far the best keto course on the market. We've got meal planning, recipe guides, shopping guides, we've got inspiration, motivation, testimonials, everything involved in this program, and it is by far the best, like I said, because it will walk you through step by step, so that way you get the best results possible for your keto journey. And if it's something that fits you and it's a fit for you, just go ahead and sign up for it. If not, then continue to get all the great information off my channel too. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with omega-3 fats. Now, first of all, let's talk about what are omega-3 fats. So omega-3 fats are very simple. When you think about what a fatty acid is, it's typically a carbon chain surrounded by hydrogens. Now, I'm not gonna go so in depth onto this because I talked about it in depth on my other videos. Like I said, you can go back and check those out. But the difference is this, where every single carbon has a hydrogen attached to it, there are some carbons that have what we call a double bond, which means it's an equal sign, just like that and just like that. That means there's less hydrogens attached to those, so instead, the carbon has a double bond to another carbon. Now, why is that significant? Because that makes it a polyunsaturated fat. So because of the fact that it's got more double bonds, two or three or so on, that makes it a poly unsaturated fats, omega-3, just like omega-6s are your polyunsaturated fats. Now, what makes this an omega-3 different than omega-6 and an omega-7 and omega-9 is where that last double bond is. That last double bond is right here on the third carbon from the end. Here's the beginning, this is the alpha, that is the omega, it is the third carbon from the end, so that makes it an omega-3 fat. Had the double bond been over here on number six, it would have been an omega-6 fat. So. Either way, that's what you know as far as what a omega-306 or omega-9 fat is, or even omega-7. So anyway, let's get back into what's really, really important about this. So omega-3 fats, just like sixes, are essential, which means that your body can't make them. Your body can make sevens and it can make nines, but it cannot make sixes and threes. That makes them essential. And just like essential amino acids, that means you have to get these from your diet. Your body cannot make these. Other things that's important to know is that there's basically three kinds. You have your EPA, your DHA, and your ALA, okay? ALA, similar to omega-6 fat, except that is alpha-linoleic acid. This is alpha-linolenic acid. Each one has different properties. EPA, for example, works with assisting the body and blood flow and prevents blood clotting, can also assist with pain and swelling and it comes mainly from seafood. That's why some of these are called your marine omegas, okay? So marine meaning the ocean, because they come typically from your, your fattier, your cold water fish. DHA plays an important role in brain and health and also helps fight several diseases, which we're gonna get into in a little bit also when I get into exactly what omega-3 fats can fight, what it can benefit, what it can prevent. Like I said, you're gonna to wanna to watch to the end because it does a whole host of things that is gonna be extremely important to your overall health to prevent disease pretty much from now and into the future. 
Alpha linolenic acid is a type of omega-3 most commonly consumed in the Western diet, okay? So this is the one we typically see with different oils, so different vegetable oils, different seed oils, which I don't recommend. Once again, watch to the end because I'm going to show you the much better sources of getting this than getting it from the seed oils. I talked about on one of my previous videos, seed oils and nut oils typically are highly processed. They use a lot of different chemicals, heats, different dyes, colorings, uh, different things that bleach the oil so that way they smell better and taste better and then they add coloring and flavorings back in. So you want to avoid a lot of these highly refined processed seed and nut oils. Instead, get it from the sources I'm going to be talking about at the end. Now, omega-3s, very simple. Because they come from a lot of the fish, fish are extremely rich in the omega-3s, your sardines, your mackerels, your herrings, things like that. Omega-3 fats make up cell membranes, provide raw materials for hormone production, particularly those that regulate artery health and inflammation, and bind to the receptors that regulate genetic function and genetic expression. So these are very, very important because there's a science called epigenetics. And what epigenetics means is that there's something above the genome. Epi means above, genetics means the genes. So something can actually cause your genes to be expressed or turned off, okay? And that's very, very important because so many of us are afraid that our genes, our, you know, our hereditary, our parents, they made us sick because my genes, I'm not gonna live a long life, I'm gonna get cancer, heart disease, diabetes, just like my family members. Guys, I'm telling you that's not the truth. You can actually turn genes on or off depending on your lifestyle, and that's what epigenetics is about. It, epigenetics states that the choices you make, the way you live, the exercise, the way you eat, the way you sleep, the way you think, all these things can actually upregulate or downregulate certain genes. And you want to know that because when it comes to genes for heart disease, you want to turn those off. You want to turn the genes for cancer off. You want to turn the genes for diabetes off. Just because you have a certain gene doesn't mean it's a death sentence and it doesn't mean that you're going to get that disease. You can actually turn it off by your lifestyle, okay? So that's really important as to why you want to eat omega-3 fats because they're extremely important in down-regulating certain disease process. Now, when it comes to heart, heart's probably the most obvious one of all because omega-3s are very well known as being heart healthy. Why? Because omega-3s appear to help the heart beat a steady clip. So that way you don't get the dangerous, potentially arrhythmic patterns that pop up that actually kill over 500 plus thousand Americans every single year. So one of the things that helps is it helps regulate your heartbeat, helps regulate and prevent arrhythmias from happening. Not only that, Omega-3 fats also lower blood pressure and heart rate, improve blood vessel function at higher doses, and lower triglycerides. Omega-3 fats also lower blood pressure and heart rate, improves blood vessel function, and at higher doses just lowers triglycerides and reduces inflammation, which plays a key role in development of atherosclerosis, and we see that. Many times on my other videos, I talked about the fact that the standard American diet or the Western diet is highly inflammatory. Also, another reason why you don't want certain nut and seed oils is typically they're higher in omega-6 because they cause inflammation to the body. When you get inflammation in the, in the blood vessels, it causes the blood vessels to become sticky. It causes erosions in the walls. It causes cracks and grooves. And next thing you know, cholesterol can embed into that. So cholesterol is not the villain here. It's our diet and our lifestyle is causing the arterial walls to become very um, sticky. And when they become sticky and they get grooves in it, cholesterol can embed and then it makes the placking, okay? Important to note that. So anything you can do to reduce the inflammation in your body is gonna prolong your life and help you have a longer, healthier life. Next, several large trials have evaluated the effects of fish or fish oils on heart disease. The Italian GISSI prevention trial found that heart attack survivors who took one gram capsule of omega-3 fats every day for three years were less likely to have a repeat heart attack, stroke, or die of sudden death than those who took a placebo. Now, by the way, what percentage was this? It was at least 50% of the people. They did not have to worry about sudden death because of their, their heart, once again, just stopping. So this was a very, very significant study because it just showed how beneficial omega-3 fats were at helping prevent heart disease, stroke, and other heart-related conditions. Another thing, I talked about this earlier, all about inflammation. Anytime you can reduce systemic inflammation in the body, which is linked to heart disease, cancer, diabetes, Alzheimer's, 
you will prolong your life and you'll have a longer, healthier life. So I'm not talking about, you know, inflammation in a joint. I'm not talking about a sprained wrist or ankle or knee. I'm talking about systemic inflammation that causes your cells to develop insulin resistance. Like I said, heart disease, diabetes come from inflammation. Another thing is mental health. Studies have shown that taking omega-3s can reduce symptoms of depression, schizophrenia, and bipolar disorders. It also, also can reduce the risk of psychotic disorders for those who are at risk. So one of the things we find with omega-3 fats is how well it works on the brain. Now, fat works extremely well on the brain in general, much, much better than glucose. In fact, Alzheimer's patients cannot process glucose very well. That's why they do very well on a ketogenic diet because they can process fats a whole lot better. Now, when it comes to dementia, people who eat more fish, high in omega-3 fats, tend to have a slower decline in brain function in old age. Omega-3s may also help improve memory in older people. And we just talked about this. And once again, I did a video on Alzheimer's. I highly recommend going back watching that because I go into a lot more detail with how Alzheimer's patients' brains work and how much better they work off of fats, okay? So it's very, very important when you're using the, doing the ketogenic diet, it's helping or benefits Alzheimer's patients. Now, when it comes to muscle growth, very, very important. Omega-3 fats have been proven that when they work together with an exercise program, they actually can help change your body composition. So in an article published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, they found that fish oil supplements and regular exercise both reduce body fat and improve cardiovascular and metabolic health. Increasing uptake of omega-3 fats could be useful as an adjunct to exercise programs aimed at improving body composition and decreasing cardiovascular disease. So once again, you combine omega-3 fats with a weight training program or another exercise program and your body composition between losing fat and building muscle goes up dramatically. So definitely include, and I'm going to put a link down below as to where you can get really good omega-3 fats, the ones I take myself. So once again, guys, I will only recommend things that I take myself. So you can be rest assured, I'm not going to recommend something that I'm not taking. Now, when it comes to bone health, very, very important with this. Promoting bone health, people with higher omega-3 intake and blood levels tend to have better bone mineral density, all right? Now, I did a video on 10 reasons why you want to eat more saturated fats, and in there I talked about the fact that your body will absorb calcium much better when you have a higher fat content in your diet. Last but not least is asthma. Turns out omega-3 fats can actually reduce the symptoms of asthma. So another reason why you should be taking it. I mean, the list can go on and on. I really could have added even more into this, but I didn't want the video to get too long. But once again, guys, the benefits of omega-3 fats are endless. There's so many different things it can do to help. Now, where can we find this? Now, there's different sources, but let's talk about seafood first because that's the most known, the most obvious. Whenever you're talking about these cold water fish, or smaller fish, or fish that have a higher fat content. You're talking about things like sardines, okay? Mediterranean diet, okay? I did a video on that where I talked about the keto-terranean diet where I combined the two and I said, if you take the best of the Mediterranean diet and combine it with the keto diet and whatever overlap is there, that's gonna be the best diet to do. So I took a lot of the foods off the Mediterranean diet and here they are right here. Salmon, sardines, mackerel, okay? herring, anchovies. Now, oysters and cod liver oil. Now, cod liver oil is more of a supplement. It's not like you're going to go out and eat cod livers, okay? It's not what you're going to do. I'm going to put, like I said, a link down below so you can order some if you like, or you could find some yourself, but I'll put a link that you can go online and order it directly where you can get some of the finest cod liver oil available, and that's a fantastic source of omega-3 fats, DHA and EPA. Now, as far as on the land now, okay? So on the land, we're looking at things that are grass-fed, and that's a key. If it's not grass-fed, it's gonna be higher in omega-6s than it is omega-3. So you want it to be grass-fed. If it's too high in omega-6 and omega-3 is lower, it's gonna become inflammatory. And that's one of the big problems with omega-6 fats. They're very good, but from the wrong sources, I talked about one of my previous videos that it's actually should be a four to one ratio of omega-6 to omega-3. 
An American diet, it's typically 50 to one, okay? At best, maybe 30, but typically 50 to one. So how do you get around that? You make sure that the foods you're eating are grass-fed. If it's grass-fed, the omega-3 profile is much, much better when cows are eating grass. Not only that, chickens. You know, I got some cage-free and free-range eggs the other day, and my wife bought just some cage-free eggs. And she said, well, I got some too, but the difference was unbelievable. The color of the yolks was so much more orange in the ones that I got, the pasture-raised, cage-free, free-range eggs, compared to the other store, had very yellow type of yolks. So a lot different omega-3 composition in the more orange yolks when the chickens are eating what they normally would prefer to eat. Dairy also, once again, remember this, you're eating what the cow's eating. So if the dairy that they're having or the cows are eating grass, then the dairy is gonna be very high in omega-3s. If they're eating grains, it's gonna be very high in omega-6s. So you have to be careful to make sure you're eating grass-fed. Grass-fed's gonna have the better omega-3 profile than if it's grain-fed. Last but not least, nuts and seeds. Now, I mentioned earlier, nut and seed oils aren't good. Typically, they're, once again, they're, they're industrialized. They're, they use bleaching agents, they use chemicals, harsh chemicals like hexane. They use um, colorings, all right, to, to change the smell and the taste of these different oils because they're really kind of disgusting unless they bleach them and then recolorize it and re, uh, change the taste and the flavor. So, but when you get chia seeds, flax, and walnuts, okay, typically raw, so raw walnuts and so on, that's when you're gonna get the best source. Now, important that when you're using flax seeds, make sure you grind them yourself. Don't get them pre-ground. If you pre-grind a flax seed, once it's exposed to oxygen, it is gonna turn rancid, it's gonna oxidize. So you wanna make sure you don't buy pre-made flax meal Grind it yourself, put it in a, in a coffee grinder or put it in a, in a strong uh, blender like a Vitamix and that will be fine. Then you'll have good source of that. But your body cannot really digest whole flax seeds. You do have to pulverize them. You do have to grind them up. So once again, chia seeds, I did a recipe for chia seed pudding. Absolutely fantastic, it's one of my favorite things. I eat it all the time. So this is, you're gonna be your healthy sources. So once again, all the fish I talked about, all the grass-fed beef, dairy, okay, that I talked about, and then your chia, flax, and walnuts. So those are your best sources, guys. So hopefully this is great information for you. Make sure you're getting your omega-3s, and please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Guys, if you like this video, don't go away. Make sure you watch my other videos. You're going to love them too. So anyway, I love and appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Dr. Nick. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.